Okay, a video about balancing and multi-cell lithium ions. Okay, um, I don't remember if I said in my first or second video, but these cells are semi-self-balancing, depending on the configuration. And I will show you this exactly, because I have both types of packs on my truck. One of them is perfectly balanced, and the other one is off, but I think I can fix it, because it's not off by much. I think maybe one of the packs was low when I started. Um, that was the other thing. When you build a pack, like say for instance you build a pack, um, hang on, I just need something for a demonstration here. Okay, yeah, if you're going to build a pack, make sure that these two batteries are the exact same voltage as these two batteries when you stick them together, because then they should charge evenly. So, hopefully you can see this from there. Yes, you can see it. Okay, first I will show you the good one. The green one on the side here. I haven't tested my one in the back, but I'm going to. This is just for demonstration, and like I said, uh, or sorry, we didn't get to that yet, but all three of these two cell packs on the side, I just charge as a two cell, no balancing, nothing. So I'll show you what the voltages are. Okay, so the voltage on the top cell is 3.9. So you see I was going through the bottom, the negative, on the one cell, and negative on this one, which is connected to positive on this one, giving me some of it's painted, some of it isn't here. The bottom battery, and then we go from this negative to the top positive. The top battery, both exactly the same. Spin the truck around and do the one on the left. And this one's a little bit off. We have 3.82. Um, we've got negative over here, negative over here. We've got positive on the side of the cell. And I get 4.07. So the bottom cells are slightly higher voltage than the top cells. So I'm going to have to charge these ones up to make them match and then they should, they should stick with it. And we'll do the back ones since we're doing this. If I can get to the connections. should be able to dig a hole through the casing to touch the ground. The uh, ground should be the same spot for that. Here we got 395. Okay, that's the back cells. So the bottom and the back. And then we're trying to get the front of the cells and out. Oops. Again, perfectly balanced, 3.95. And then I do the back one again. Negatives over here. Positive on the side of the cell. 3.95. So, two of my packs are perfectly balanced with no balancing whatsoever. As you can see, there's only two wires. There's only two wires coming out of each pack, so it's only connected at the top 
and the bottom. There's no connection in between. And uh, yeah, my left pack and my rear pack are perfectly balancing by themselves. And I have no need to worry about those two. But for some reason this one on the side has deviated slightly as I showed you there. So these packs do self-balance but you need to check them every now and then. Like this one, I'm just going to even it out, you know, bring this top one up to 4.7 and then they should um, continue balancing themselves from there on. So just thought I'd show you guys that. Um, the only reason standard lipos and whatnot don't self-balance as far as I know is because they're all uh, single cell configuration. Hang on. I didn't have one earlier. Oh. Yeah, if you're not using a double cell setup like this, well, double or more, if there's only one, one connected to one, it won't self-balance. You have to use a balancer, but when you use two or more, um, the other batteries keep them like self-balanced somehow. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but as I just showed you, two out of my three packs are perfectly balanced and this one's not even that far off, so just thought I'd show you guys that. Um, also with uh, weak or dead cells, you can usually revive them with a um, what was it called? A, a multi... A, um, it's, it's one of these. <laughs> one of these with a switch on it so you can change it from 0 to 12 volts. Uh, you need one of those at about 500 to 750 milliamp. So 0 to 12. So like 3, 4, 6, 7, you know, 12. And uh, you can usually revive them that way. You just go positive, negative, stick it on 3 volts and uh, basically just wait until the voltage gets to about 3.5 or 3.7 if it'll get that high sometimes they won't hold a charge and then you can try charging it with a proper lipo charger once you get it up to about 3.7 so that's about it um, if they're not revivable they'll only charge up a little bit maybe one point something volts and then as soon as you take the power off they'll, uh, they'll just like instantly drop back down good way to test them is just like I said get a or, or even yeah just a 3.5 volt old uh, phone adapter and just go positive and negative on the batteries leave it on there for maybe I don't know five ten minutes take it off see if it holds what you've put in it and if it does then bring it up to like 3.7 roughly and uh, then yeah the lipo charger should take over from there so I hope that helps you guys, and uh, that shows you the self-balancing for the most part. Like I said, one of my packs is off for some reason, so I gotta straighten that out. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed.